Hi, welcome to Naima Creates. I'm Naima, and today I'm creating my January 2020 bullet journal spread. And of course, I had to be basic like everyone else and do a 1920s theme. I know, I know, but like, I want some pretty gold lines in my journal too, okay? So I hope you'll be able to find a few different things here than uh, what I've seen other people doing. I did try to be a little bit creative. Uh, so to start off, I wanted to think of, you know, like what was going on in the 20s and I actually thought of silent movies. So um, to s start my title page, I decided to make an actual title card. Uh, so I just painted it all black with my black ink and then I had traced out the way I wanted the title to go on a scrap piece of uh, bullet journal paper from my old journal. And then what you saw just a moment before is I had traced it out with a uh, pencil on the back so that way I could uh, trace over it on the on this side as you can see what I'm doing and because I have the lead on the back from when I had uh, scribbled onto the paper it will transfer over onto the other side plus because it's ink I was thinking that it might leave a little bit of an indent anyways and as you can I hope see a little bit there it is faintly there um, and then I just went over it with my uni Pasca, the white uh, paint pen that they have so that way it would stand out and it was pretty easy for me to transfer over because of course if I just drew it on the page the black ink would cover over it and then uh, I would be just you know <laughs> trying to do it by hand and it wouldn't be straight and then I have to use a ruler and measure out every little centimeter and I just didn't really feel like it so here's my little silent movie title card January just very dramatic like that <laughs> funnily enough actually for my uh, bullet journal last year I also started off with a January with uh, all black in the background I did a Star Wars theme so I had like the stars coming towards you I'll uh, I'll link it or something if you feel like checking that out given that the Star Wars movie just came out too uh, so on to the next page here I have my habit tracker so I really wanted to incorporate once again those designs the art deco style that is so famous so all that I've done is using the grid spacing already on my uh, journal, I've um, just followed those lines diagonally, so it's about four, each, each square is about four, I would say, um, and then uh, added in another square inside, which is about two across, and then just went all the way down with that, going um, down, and then you'll see when I add in some spokes later, and that's what I'm going to be doing for uh, my habit tracker. So maybe you're new since it's the beginning of the year. If you're new to bullet journaling, a habit tracker is basically just a way of keeping track of any little thing that you want to uh, try to be better at doing or making a habit of doing daily um, or whatever time frame that suits you best. So things like maybe every day it's like, let me just tidy up my place for just 15 minutes. So you can at least commit to doing 15 minutes tidying up every day. Um, and just mark that off. Yes, I did that, right? That helps you to keep things always clean. Um, or maybe you want to be flossing, or maybe you want to do art, whatever it is. And then you can just track it and see, yes, I did this thing, or no, you didn't. And then just try to get better at doing those things which you aren't doing as much. Uh, in case you're confused, on the right hand side, I just have that same scrap of paper. Um, I traced out everything beforehand since all of this Art Deco stuff is so many lines and I didn't want you to sit through watching me pencil it out and then do it again so I penciled out everything initially and then now I'm just covering the other side to keep a bit of mystery for you you know so you don't know what's coming next on the next page. Uh, so I had used a gold, well this isn't actually a sharpie I got this at the dollar store. Um, seems to be pretty good the only thing is that it's not uh, super opaque. I, I think a regular gold sharpie would be more opaque so if you're using that then you're gonna be good to go. You'll see for the next step what I'm talking about. Uh, for this black right here though I'm just using one of those Tombow calligraphy pens. I think I used the soft one. Um, I went between using the soft and the hard tip uh, throughout this page. I primarily used the soft one though to fill in those little spaces. So as you can see I've filled this all in in black in the background and I mean I could have just painted the page and then gone over top again with the gold um, the gold uh, marker <laughs> the only thing is once again because it's not a uh, sharpie it'd be very dull um, and then also I would have to trace out every single line with my 
ruler and make sure everything is evenly spaced and because I wouldn't be able to see the dot grid spacing, right? So this allowed my life to be much simpler doing it this way, although then you have to fill in every little box. Uh, but you know what? Like if you're watching some Netflix or I don't know if you're anything like me, I like to do something with my hands while I'm just sitting around. So this is something you can just do. I kind of just sat on the couch um, and finished coloring everything in. These spaces at the bottom, which you see, which are left uncolored, that's where I'm going to be filling in each little spoke to say this is day one, two, three. Each one has eight lines, right? Um, and then there's seven things that I'm tracking, so they go all the way across. So eight times four, 32. There's 31 days in January. And so I'll just have one at the end, one bonus one that I can fill in. Um, and then hopefully it'll all be filled in by the end of the month. Uh, I tend to not end up doing all my habits every single day, but you know, new year, new decade, new me, right? As, as they say. Uh, so on this side, um, I looked at different um, Art Deco styles online. Um, so I just typed in Art Deco, went to Google Images, and then you can see a variety of things. I also typed in Art Deco um, font. Or did I type in nine? Yeah, Art Deco font. Um, and then that also brought up a few different like designs in the background and also just fonts. So you can look at those for inspiration if you don't want to do this exact style. Um, and for the, for the lines, I recommend making sure you have a mixture of thick and thinner lines. Uh, it adds a lot more interest and just makes it look a bit more elevated. Uh, this quote that I chose here is, you can like the life you're living, you can live the life you like which is from Chicago, of course, the musical. Uh, I was debating doing a Chicago theme for the entire journal, um, but I really just wanted to do that silent movie title card at the beginning, and I was like, I don't think it really quite works if I'm doing that, and then also Chicago, and then plus Chicago would just be like the red writing, so I don't know. I, I got a little bit in here with this quote, which I love, because you should live the life that you like. And if you can't quite, then you should also like the life that you're living right now, you know? So it's a good little reminder, I guess, and motivator in a way. So on to the next page is um, I'm, my note. So this is also um, like the brain dump page, as people say. I tend to call it thoughts because I don't like the idea of dumping my brain. <laughs> so um, I've also just I've changed it to notes. One, just because it fit in the space well. And then two, because if you see uh, one of my previous journals, the way that I've been doing it towards the end of 2019, um, I'll link to the um, Avatar one. So the Avatar, the last Airbender uh, journal that I did, uh, so you can see what I was doing before. But basically, I had all the notes on the right-hand side of my weekly um, and then the calendar down the left. And so now I've basically just combined them just to be both on a page together. So I have the notes, which is also my brain dump, and then I'll still have my calendar here. Because um, I was doing a, a Dutch door thing. Anyways, I'll link it so you can see. So right there, I just referred back to my future log uh, to write in my little calendar, uh, making sure all the dates are correct. Then I will add all the numbers down the left-hand side. Uh, so, you know, Wednesday the 1st, Thursday the 2nd, etc. Um, and then along the actual space beside it, that's where I can write any events. So you can see I wrote New Year's Day, and then drew my little symbol for birthday, and wrote Mom. So you can see both of those from uh, my setup. So on this page, on the right-hand side, this is going to be where I'm going to put like my month of uh, photos for January. I did just show you a couple frames back. Uh, the what I, what I was doing beforehand. So I have those little, you know, those little Polaroid things that are super popular right now. I use the Instax, the the printer. So then you can take pictures on your cell phone and you choose which picture you want, and then it prints out on the printer in that little shape, which I like better than using those cameras because those cameras, one, big to carry around, and two, it doesn't really, you know, you don't know how it's gonna turn out. And those little films are a little bit pricey. It's like a dollar a film, basically. So, you know, I want to make sure the picture that I that I print is actually what I want. So I like to print those out throughout the month, and then I'll just stick them in on that page that you saw. And the uh, the tape that I use is just one of those like decorative duct tapes that you see. I just got it at uh, Michael's there. 
Um, so this is finally my weekly spread. I'm uh, using another font that I found um, and then use my little design around the outside and then I'll actually put my notes all the way down. I always like to, instead of writing out every single day, I like to go day by day because maybe some days I have more things to do and some days I have less. So why fill it all up, you know, when I, I'm not going to use all the space? Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.